Hello all newcomers and welcome back fellow Eternians. Today I am going to show you all how I picked out my new outfit, how I designed everything, and how you can do your own if you're interested in getting a new look or uh, trying to make something that's more um, designed around the culture of your nation. So I actually dropped the ball a little bit. You got to see a sneak preview last video, but I figured for the announcement trailer uh, for this special, I wanted to have myself in my new uniform. So you got to see a little bit of it, but today we're really gonna go over it. And then in future videos, you're gonna see it all the time. The first thing that, I, the first thing that I've changed about my outfit is I have these. These are some nice, solid black Doc Martin boots. These are fairly new and ones that I haven't worn very much, so they're nice, they're decorative, I figured I can use them in videos. And one of the cool things about this shoe is that you can mix and match uh, the laces with it. So it came with these uh, black ones, but it also came with some nice vibrant yellow ones that will match with the very second item that I have changed in my wardrobe. With the idea of gold for my nation, I have these. Uh, these are some nice sort of a uh, golden yellowish pant. If you don't know for the Empire of Eternia, our color scheme is generally uh, purple, white, red, and gold. And for this case, gold represents a lot of the time economics for us, um, financial security, stability, um, and it really is one of the foundations of our society and of our principles. So that being the case, we have these nice, beautiful gold pants uh, that'll match nicely with the boots. And like I said, that's why part of it is such a great pairing. So that's what we have so far. So the very next item is this purple sweater. It is a solid purple sweater. It's uh, very nice. It's very plain, but it'll go as the uh, base coat for our larger coat on top that's really going to be the driving point of that. Um, so you'll see how the outfit actually pulls together. Um, the first note to keep in mind is, uh, like we said, our boots here sort of go together with our gold pants a little bit. They kind of tie in. Uh, this purple and gold, purple and gold kind of goes together, but it's also quite a bit of a clash. So uh, depends on how you want to dress and and go with your own style. Um, this is a little bit of a wild color combination. It's going to get even more wild, but um, it, it'll still sort of flow together and blend together, and you'll see what I mean by that. But this is our base coat. This is our um, dark purple, uh, sort of plain purple sweater here. Oh, before I forget, the purple in the Empire of Eternia stands for, um, it, it normally stands for royalty uh, and a lot of flags. You notice our flag is purple. Um, so what that represents for us is the imperial spirit, you know, sort of um, feeling that no matter where we are in the world, even if we're not all together as an empire, as a community, um, we are still able to have that spirit within us and feel like the imperials that we are wearing this purple, taking on the, um, the shroud of nobility and of um, the protection in our community. As community members, we are this purple. It is for... Um, for this, um, this, this royalty, and that's sort of what the, the emperor carries, as uh, and that as well as the weight that I carry as an emperor, is uh, the, the weight of the people, that, that sort of will, that desire, and uh, our culture, so that purple represents my weight, and my burden, and my excitement to lead, and to, to have our community grow. And the last thing we have here is this nice green coat. This is a sort of a blazer, very plain coat, again, uh, plain green. One of the things, the reason I keep saying these plain colors to go after is because, uh, and these solid colors, is because things that are uh, very textured, have a lot of like stripe patterns, have a lot of uh, very different, very bright colors, they can be distracting and a lot of the time they pull away from a larger outfit rather than uh, pull it together. So a lot of the time for these outfits that micronational leaders wear, it's the idea of pulling together lots of smaller pieces into a larger piece, taking the different aspects of your culture and bringing it together into one succinct entity that describes you and how you lead your people or whoever leads your people. Um, one of the things that's interesting for micronations that I like is the idea of uh, different people sort of getting their own outfits and doing different things like that, like, um, and, and just sort of sticking to that. Not necessarily having a uniform per se, but some item or something that they wear more consistently um, that is unique to them and describes something about their personality or their position in the government or whatever it is. Off of that side note, 
here is the green coat. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, it's something that I ch picked up fairly cheap and it is working beautifully. One final thing to note about that is that the uh, green for the Empire of Eternia doesn't actually represent anything. Um, it may represent, say, the, the soil of Eternia or something like that. Uh, the, 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 the strength of Eternia or something. Uh, you can make up a reason, but our color scheme doesn't normally have green in it. Uh, it's just a nice coat and I think it complements the look well. Uh, in, in my other design as well, uh, my previous outfit, it, the gray coat didn't have any semblance either, so uh, this green coat can interchange just fine, I think, and for yourself as well. Everything doesn't necessarily have to have a symbolism in your outfit, but things that do tend to draw attention, so it's good to remember that. And the final thing that we have for my Micronational Leaders outfit, um, and the thing that uh, I think is important is the sort of signature piece, as I'd like to call it, which is this. This is my um, imperial scarf. Um, this is the scarf of the emperor, or how, whatever you'd like to call it. It is um, essentially a, a garment that's worn around the neck, and when you may have seen it in my previous videos, uh, I tend to wear it in most videos, but it is a garment uh, that I wear around my neck that symbolizes uh, red in flags normally symbolizes like blood. Um, so for me, this symbolizes um, a, a sort of strength and a unity, um, sort of having the same heart. Um, when I wear this on my chest, it means that I am uh, walking with the will and the courage and the strength of the Eternian people. Um, for me, that means uh, feeling confident, and feeling happy, and feeling like I can accomplish the things that we all want. So, so far we have our gold pants, our purple uh, shirt, our green jacket, and then our red scarf. Now when all of that comes together, we get this nice outfit. And what you notice is around the sleeves, you can actually see that purple sweater sticking out. So even though you don't get a whole lot of it accented throughout the, the overall piece, throughout the overall outfit, it still gives you that little bit of a hint of it and it allows you to bring together your entire outfit and uh, bring together your design that you were hoping for with all your different national colors or cultural uh, symbols. And it allows you to do that nicely and cohesively without the need to have it distract and pull away and look very clashing. Um, so this worked together very nicely and I'm happy for it. I hope you guys like it. And this is the other version of the outfit that I generally do. Uh, this time I include the vest as well with everything else that you saw in the uh, previous iteration, the, the purple um, the purple undershirt with the, the sleeves here and everything. Um, this as well is, if you might notice, the same outfit that I was wearing in the intro video to this series, the, the Christmas one, where I'm over by the fireplace. So I thought I'd give you all a closer look with this angle, but um, this is um, the, the full outfit and the full version. Now, going into the reason that these outfits are so important for uh, micronational leaders is because a lot of the time um, when you do something like this, when you're doing a press event for your nation, when you're meeting another leader uh, of a nation, when you are um, showing off your nation to the world, a lot of the time you are seen as the uh, sole embodiment of your nation. You are seen as the epitome of what your culture and what your interests and what your people represent. All the people who you've met and who have become your friends and become a part of this community you're growing, um, you represent all of those people and you represent those ideas. So uh, when you meet them, you might want to have something that represents that culture and that idea ideology. And ultimately, this gives you a sense of uniqueness, a, an ability to approach somebody new and a different culture and a different life view and experience, uh, maybe someone who doesn't know much about micronationalism and maybe uh, isn't too familiar with it. And it gets people interested, it gets people excited, it gets people wanting to know why it is you look the way you look and why it is that you do things the way you do. And some people will love that. So um, definitely consider designing your own if you haven't one. Um, if you do have one, definitely make sure to update it from time to time or to see what you can do to improve it because it's always fun to grow that and to show people your interest and your unique talents. So um, 
definitely go out there and try your own. Um, let me know if you do any updates to ones or you have old pictures of ones. Uh, I'm sure you can find some old pictures of mine in some of the previous videos, but uh, that's it for now. I appreciate you all watching and stay tuned for the rest of this series preparing for 2020. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers very, very badly. So if you all can help us out, that's one of our top national goals here at the Empire of Eternia is we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers that allows us to do monetization. It also allows for you guys us to access the community tab, which the community tab is going to be really cool because it gives us the ability to um, have posts, have regular updates, have fan polls, have um, community polls where we can in fact do voting on YouTube. So if you don't know, we're a part of a Discord as well. I can put the links in the description, but um, a lot of the time I want to update you all and some people may not have Discord, some people may uh, use YouTube primarily or new subscribers who don't know about the Discord. A lot of the time it streamlines, th streamlines things if these communities can have this, this branch on YouTube. So once we hit a thousand subscribers, that will help a whole bunch. And if you all can help us to carry the weight of getting there, it would mean a lot by sharing the videos, liking it, uh, talking in the comments, just doing anything you can to promote the videos and getting them out there because we're trying to represent the micro national experience. We're trying to um, do something nice and unique and fun. Um, and we hope you all will come along for the ride and maybe it will inspire some people to do the same. So thank you all very much. See you soon.